Hello everyone. Welcome back to another After Effect episode. In this episode, we are going to create this animation. Okay, so open After Effect make a new composition as always 1920 by 1080 full hd 30 frames per second and duration 10 is good let me call it color logo and then hit ok now first i am going to import my logo double click here and then go to the directory where you want to import your logo I am selecting Fiverr logo and then hit open button. Drag the logo in your composition work area. Scale it up, press the S letter from your keyboard and scale it maybe 120. It's necessary, it's depend on your logo size. Let me pre-compose this first, right click on the logo layer and pre-compose it and let me call it logo now I am going to effect and preset if you don't see this panel please go to the windows option and then effect and preset you can also press the command or 5 ok so I am search for fill effect first let me drop this into my logo composition so here is our fill effect we want to control all the color with a single layer okay now i am going to create adjustment layer and let me call it color let me drag the fill effect on the color adjustment layer and turn off the visibility of this layer now i am currently select my color layer and then lock the effect toggle view lock now it's lock if I click anywhere this will be always here now open your logo property go to effect and then fill and here you can find your fill effect and here is the color alt click on the little stopwatch icon and click here and then link this to this color ok done now click outside and close the expression now let me close this for a moment now if you change color here so basically you change the color of this logo let me unlock it ok then select your pen tool for this purpose just I am going to my logo com double click and make a new solid and then hit ok and then get back to the color logo all right now I am going to draw a shape maybe something like this and then hit the letter M from your keyboard and click on this little icon and drag the keyframe to around 2 seconds select your move tool and just drag something like this hold the node and drag it up until you cross your composition now let me switch these keyframes this will be on start this will be on end okay let's take a ramp preview for this okay cool I'm happy with that now again press the letter M make sure your mask is selected select all the nodes and drag it something like this cool now come here and do some adjustments on some points
select these nodes maybe something like this you want to do animation spend some time so you make some interesting shapes okay I am happy with that now again I am going to some frame forward and change again the frames I am going to change a random way of the animation. Now again going to some frame forward. Let me turn off the visibility so you can see actually what's going here. Now let me drop this one and this one as well. And then I am going to make something like this. Now again some frame forward and drag it down make it up make it up and maybe something like this now again go to few frame forward make it down make it up make it down and do some tweaks with these handles Okay, now let's take a ramp preview. Okay, that's perfect. But I like to change some changes here. Let me drag it up, drag it down, and drag it up. Okay, great. It's some kind of like a water filling effect. Select all the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy is keyframe. You can also press the F9 key from your keyboard. Okay, it's looking perfect. Now again, open your logo and delete this unwanted solid. Now if I come back and let's take a ramp preview. All right, that's looking perfect. Let me change the size of logo. And maybe I need to write here tutorial. Doesn't matter what color you are using here because you are going to change the color later. Okay, that's looking good. Let me take a ramp preview. Interesting. Let me just adjust these some points. Spend some time with your animation so you got amazing results. Okay, that's looking perfect. Now just lock the mask and hide it. I'm going to duplicate this mask four times. Ctrl D from your keyboard or Command D from your Mac. Now I have five copies. Okay, select the first four and drag it something like this. And now unselect this one and drag it here. Also this one, drag it here. Also this one, drag it here. Now I am going to select my color layer and lock it for a moment and duplicate this effect four times. So I got five different positions. Let me change the color of each effect. Okay, I suggest you to use Google for finding some good color combinations. But I am using random colors. Spend some time so you got best results. And here is the final color. Okay, I am happy with that. Now I am going to open the logo to effect. I am linking these colors 
If you want to link, then please follow these methods. If you don't want to link, then please leave this part. Okay, now I'm going to control click here and click here and this one go with this color. Cool. Now let me close it too. Also close from here and open my third effects fill same method alt click on the color and link with the color I'm going to close this one as well also going to close this open this one again effect fill and same method And here is my last and final effect. Okay, this looks perfect for me. Now you see as I link these things, here is the random color section. Okay, let's take a ramp preview, but before this we need to set these two things. In the center of our screen something like this okay now we are going to take a preview okay that's looking great now select all hit the F button from your keyboard and feather it but before feather make sure you have unlock your masks from here Okay, perfect. Now feather it around 25 pixels. I can close this all for a moment, and then F key, and then hit 25. So apply for all others. All right, I need to do individu individually for everyone. Okay, that's looking good. I'll close the layers. And now we are going to take a preview. And as you can see here is a nice faded color effect. Okay, here is our RAM preview. That's looking great. Now we are doing another adjustment layer for the size. Let me call it size. And select all the logo and link with your size. If you not see this preset, please click here toggle switches. Now select the size layer and let me scale it down. So your effect will remain. Now let me pick any random image for the background. You can use any video, any solid or any background. Let me pick this one. I like this image a lot. If you want this image, Please download this image link in the description and let me drag it under here. Now let me click here and do some level adjustment. I need it to be more dark look. Maybe I need to drop my white input. That's looking cool. Okay, here is our final animation. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Anyways, here is the quick tip. If you want to change your logo anytime or you want to change any text, just open your logo tab and then you can change from here. 
and then again if you come back in your logo everything will be updated automatically if you found this tutorial helpful please like subscribe and write your questions in the comment section down below my name is Muhammad Amir see you in the next video